All right, so Jalen Marshall, 2016 NFL Draft receiver, punt returner. Um, Matt Miller, who's a good draft analyst from Bleach Report, had Jalen before the NFL Combine as the 93rd overall pick, which is right at the end of the third round. So that's where we're going to start. Um, and then there have been some comp compensatory picks and stuff been awarded. So, all right, you know what, let's start. We don't think he's going 93. Let's start at pick 94. On our list, we have that as a Denver Bronco. So we'll start Jalen Marshall, third round, 94 Denver, 95 Detroit, 96 New England, 97 Seattle, 98 Denver. First pick of the fourth round, number 99 Cleveland, start of the fifth round, 140 Tennessee, 141 Cleveland, 142 San Francisco. Start of the sixth round, 176 Cleveland, 177 Tennessee. 178 San Francisco, 179 San Diego, 180 Minnesota. How's your throat? Let's do it. Let me look. But I don't know about Jalen Marshall. I don't know about Jalen Marshall. I talked to somebody who said Minnesota likes him. Luxury pick, we said Braxton Miller is a luxury pick. Jalen Marshall, who I think is a punt returner first, something on offense second, uh, is a luxury pick. And I don't know about him as a punt returner. He's boom or bust, but if he puts the ball on the ground, they're not going to put it back there anymore. So uh, I think that felt like the earliest. There was a pause there. Where, where did you take him? What was the pick? What did you say? To Minnesota okay, at 180. 180. I was looking to see when Minnesota had its next pick. And they like didn't have any more compensatory picks in the sixth round. And they didn't pick until much later in the seventh round. 240 in the seventh round. Maybe could have gone there. I do feel like you get in the seventh round, you're really just taking whatever. I think, he, I think, you're, I think he's a step above that, maybe. The what the heck, I don't know. You know, Christian Bryant was a really good player at Ohio State. He had a devastating injury that he's still coming back from. He went to seventh round. You know, Jalen Marshall's fast. He's healthy. He played an important role on a really good team. You know, we're talking about an NFL guy that had him in the third round. So sixth round, late sixth round, I'm okay with that. How many punt returns did he have for touchdowns in his collegiate career? I have no idea. Do you know? One. One. It was Indiana two years ago. <clears throat> oh, um, right. I don't what was the that. Minnesota game when he went nuts? He did not return a punt that game. I think yeah, he had four touchdowns. He had four touchdowns, but, touchdowns, but I think one was rushing and three were receiving or something. Okay. But my point is, is that like I don't know if he was a dazzling punt returner. Like was he a dazzling punt returner? I know he turned the ball over at Minnesota, at Minnesota in 2015 and almost cost him a game. Yeah. Uh, um, but I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying I was shocked when he left. And I guess sixth round is, I guess, if you want to take a flyer on a guy, but he's not just a complete flyer, that makes sense. I think that he might be a guy that I wouldn't be shocked about if he got drafted in the fourth or fifth round, and I would not be shocked if he went undrafted. I think he has fumble problems. I think he's a little slower. Wasn't he slower than people yeah. thought he would be? Yes. And I think if you're a guy like Jalen Marshall who's going to make a dump that nobody thought he was going to make, you need to be fast. You need to do something to set yourself apart. I don't think he did that. I think he's draftable but I wouldn't take him anywhere earlier than the seventh round.